And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Leona Endure. That's right, we had um, a challenge here with this donation deck to build a deck with They Who Endure and one of the new champions and decide to go with Leona and all of the Daybreak stuff that Leona has. Because Leona has some good, um, you know, brings together some good aggressive units, Solari Soldier, Sol Solari Shield Bearer. And then also just units you don't really mind dying, like the Priestess, that can just die. Um, you know, we can have the Lunari Priestess or the Mentora Stones. We don't really mind these things dying in combat or, or whatever. So, you know, each time we have an ally die, of course, that will be growing the They Who Endure. The other good thing about Targon with They Who Endure is, of course, Bastion. Now, it doesn't help out perfectly against Hush because of the whole fleeting Hush thing. Um, but Bastion can help out against a lot of other spells to be able to protect they who endure basically everything else um, besides Hush. <laughs> but, you know, there's not really a great answer to Hush. But, of course, They Who Endure also brings along Omenhawk and Avaros and Sentry with it. Pale Cascade's just a wonderful spell with the draw one. It's just definitely worth playing that card. And then to finish to finish out the rest of the deck, decided to go with a couple Sejuanis to kind of add on with the top end as our other champion. And instead of playing three Sejuanis, we're playing two Sejuanis and one Babbling Bjerg to have another four mana card in here. So, you know, we don't get too heavy on the top end. Babbling Bjerg will be drawing either Ravin or Sejuani, two important cards uh, for this kind of deck. So, um, And then also the other thing, Leone, if, like if we're going wide, going with a bunch of small units, you know, which we have for They Who Endure, we also have Morning Light, which could be pretty nice being a plus two, plus two for everything. Alright, so that's our deck, Leona Endure. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. I'm not sure if y'all can hear that, but it is raining hard today. It is not August anymore. It's now September, and it is pouring down today. Which is good news, don't need to run Sprinkler. Or the, you know, don't need to, to run that on the, the lawn today. My lawn didn't look so good, you know, with Texas August heat. Doesn't look so great. I need to do a better job of uh, lawn care next year. I'm I'm learning some more about that. So I like this rain. I'll be good for the lawn. Well, we have Century Priestess Leona. I don't think we keep a second Leona, but maybe I'm supposed to. I'm uh, not 100% sure. Maybe maybe we are supposed to against Twisted Fate Swain. <clears throat> Twisted Fate Swain, of course, is a removal-heavy deck. I like a 5 health unit. We already have the 2-drop, you know, 3-drop. You can see the Devastian border from here. Love the heavy rain sounds when you're in the house. Um, I don't. Yeah, I kind of like it too. But unfortunately, my dog Harvey does not like it. She, she is very scared of storms, and so she's over here under the table, kind of panting. And so this is difficult between these two, Traveler and Golden Sister. Golden Sister is better, but. I mean, Traveler could hit another Golden Sister, or, you know, like, there's a lot of potential with Traveler. We'll grab Traveler with the potential. Um, is there a reason to not use Nocturne over Leona? Um... Not really. I mean, you could, yeah, could definitely go Nocturne. You could have definitely gone Nocturne instead, and then, you know, basically made it just like the, the popular They Who Endure deck, um, but with Nocturne. That would have definitely been an option. Um... Well, that was a really good turn for my opponent. I'm, I'm going to need to try to go try to stop all this stuff. I guess I'm going to go Traveler because and then keep falling comment for Swain slash. Um, oh, please don't have that. 
Don't have Ravenous Flock also, please. Come on. I even thought about that, how like this 5 health would, would stop that. Um, but I you know, decided I wanted to play that and then be able to play Leona on their attacking turn. But... Dang. <laughs> My hand wasn't bad. My hand wasn't bad. Yeah, Freljord doesn't have Nightfall cards. See, like, you wouldn't really be able to do very much with Nocturne. Like, it would just kind of be playing Nocturne to just kind of play Nocturne as a good card, basically. Um. The dawn has arrived. May it never leave. Sunlight blinds. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. Unyielding light. I mean, I'm gonna be really surprised if we win this game down to four life against Bilgewater and Noxus with all of the Nexus damage that Bilgewater and Noxus can do. I I can't imagine that we're gonna be winning this game. The reason to attack is I can't even handle, like, I can't handle them just going straight to attack, so I gotta hope that they do some blocking. But they didn't. Yeah, I'm just assuming they just have warning shot. Find some healing or something. Sunlight if we both had another 20 cards, or like 20 life, I, you know, I'd feel good about winning a later game. They just got real, real aggressive. They had a great hand with that. Make it rain. I have nothing, man. I don't know what you want from me. May all those who journey find what they seek. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. No, I mean I don't I mean yeah, there is the five mana card that can that can heal your Nexus. I don't think just because of that game of them having such a great hand that therefore we need to go go throw neck go throw healing in here. No, I, I don't think so. I mean, they just those cards can do that with um, you know house spider the two drop that can make a make a powder keg and with petty officer like those are those are just awesome cards and you know like I could have like the obviously the turn that Besides the Mega Rain, the turn that really hurt us was that, you know, turn four having the combo of Sentry plus Ravenous Flock. I could have played Leona there and had my five health unit, um, you know, so I could have helped against that. I guess that's that's what I need to do. Ours is the one true light. Punish transgressions. That hurt us pretty bad. Still see far and clear. Nineteen. Unyielding light. Who does not? 
not know the name, Laurent. Follow the horizon. Navarosa's name. So definitely assume they're gonna block the two-two. Um, it's fine. We need to get this protege kind of down because obviously with the young young witch and the protege, they can just kill everything. So I do need to. Awesome. That's a good draw. So I do need to start reducing this health, and I, you know, we're a they who endure deck. We want to just pressure, keep attacking. I don't think we need to be that scared of that thing. Well, I felt a lot better about this before that Lulu. Well, I guess still even, yeah, they can't even attack with the Lulu, can they? And even this attack. Sure, Leona takes some damage, but... Get to eat that thing. Sun Guardian could be pretty good. Devotion to battle. Unwavering strength. Normally I'd be I'd be attacking with everything, but the the whole fury part of this card does kind of change things. I think that's worth it. Both the dragon and the daylight spear took uh, four damage, but then we got a card out of their hand for that. We can only play one of these. And it's kind of awkward because next turn. I guess we can't do like Priestess and Leona next turn. Anyway, so I guess we just go. The power of the yeah, I guess we go Leona here and then just go the Sun Guardian the next turn. Radiance. Sun Guardian is just bigger than they who endure right now. Can y'all hear that? I assume y'all can hear that. You're covered. Safeguard our homes. Well, it's a good mic, I guess, yeah. Because it's thundering and stuff like that, too. them down to one. That puts them down to two. Yuck. I'll stop you. Daylight is unrelenting, but not eternal. Being able to play Genevieve Elmhart is just playing another champion. I've been impressed with the dragon, though. I the Lulu Shen deck that I was playing before, I was playing the the five four. And I, I kind of think the dragon's probably better. I don't know. They're they're so close. But there are times where the dragon is amazing, like this. Well, that whimsy was 
Great card. This is gonna be tough. Imagine if we would have just drawn Hush. That would have been cool. I, yeah, I don't, don't think we're going to be winning this from here, but we'll see. If they have like a Relentless Pursuit, obviously, obviously it's over, but we're going to have to hope that Double They Who Endure can get there. If they have only units in hand and no spells, we can win this. Turn too late, Hush. Turn it too late. Well, as long as that card's not a spell, we can still win this. There is no dispute. That puts him down to zero. They who endure, get it done. Zaxies. So, two games, kind of the opposite story. That game, we won, but we barely won. And if we both would have had like 10 more life, we were getting destroyed. The first game was kind of the opposite. Like our opponent kind of snuck out the win, but if we had more life, if we had so many cards, like we would have, you know, we would have been fine. You know, like we would have won a, a lot longer game. So kind of two games, kind of op same, like opposite stories there. All right, so this was the deck we lost to. No one drop again. Definitely would have liked to see a one drop. That's a good one drop. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So I think my plan here is to probably play Omen Hawk plus Priestess this next turn. For the next kill. I think that's my plan. I guess that plan's not great against Twisted Fate. Go Meteor Shower, kill Twisted Fate, and Omen Hawk. <clears throat> so what makes this a difficult matchup is they just have cards that can punish you for doing anything. Um, you know, no matter what line that we take, they can have cards that will be good against that line. So I figured we have plenty of like mana to spend with all this stuff, so I want the zero man the zero mana card. We have lots of mana. The dawn has arrived. 
With its light, the Solari will unite the heavens. The sun's splendor reveals. Let's kill Swain. I'll level up Leona. Uh, I don't think there's any hail. At least I, I haven't heard any hail. Sacrifices must be made. Yeah, my windows are closed. I don't know. I am the bulwark against darkness. My car's in the garage. Doesn't sound like hail. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Yeah, three three house spider, pretty good. Keep up, keep up. When others threaten, we must take action. Is it? Yeah, we just gotta kill that. <laughs> I'm losing the emo battle. True. No hail, but it is pouring down hard. I don't know if this hush is going to be any better than this. Oh no, man, I am so bad with the Solari Priestess. Uh Definitely should have played Avaros and Sentry. Never lost a fair game. Who says I don't share? <laughs> yeah, just get Robin. Alright, my bad, my bad. We're looking at seven sevens for they who enter right now. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Prepare the cargo! Seven seven doesn't get through Leviathan. Piercing rays. Nothing escapes my wall. This is unfortunate. I never beat this deck. This was a Bates Wayne deck. I never beat this deck. Um. Um. 
There's like every play that I always do, they always have just like whatever card answers it really well, right? You know, like I attack with that 5-5, five, five, so then they have the Ravenous Flock. You know, they are able to block with the 1-1 and Ravenous Flock. Um, and just whatever I do, there's always that uh, that card. You know, I try to hush their, their little 2-2 two -two and um, block it. And, you know, they have the Noxian Fervor. So no matter what I do. Now, of course, I, I didn't play perfectly. I played the Solari Priestess at the wrong time, so we didn't get the Invoke. <clears throat> yeah, I'm like 0 and 100 against that deck. It's probably not that bad, but it's some, something similar to that. I want to try something with the setting. Let me know. How does it, how does this sound? Um, yeah, let me know. How does this audio sound? I just changed the setting back there. It sounds weird. Open wide. Oh, I meant. Okay, I meant to put it on here. This is what I, this is where I, where I meant to put it. I put it on the wrong one. How does this sound now? Is it just playing this first to get another daybreak? Just we're gonna try to. I'm just gonna have this uh, Leona leveled up on turn four. Take this warrior. <clears throat> yeah, so this is this is like the the setting that you're supposed to have it at. I just wanted to wanted to try it again. Um The guilty were bad. Back heretic. Um okay. So you're just only here in like one year. Okay. All right, we'll go back. Okay, so that that should be where I had it before. The dawn has arrived. As far as I know. All right, leveled up Leona. All right, trying new things. Double monkey idol. Yuck. So yeah, we could go shield bearer priestess, but I need to kill these monkey idols. <clears throat> Monkey idols are amazing. Will no one listen? That's gonna be a problem. So you know that's gonna draw should be drawn Gangplank or Sejuani, but I guess it could also their their boats, their ships could have those as well. Um, seven mana. I wish I had eight mana. Really wish I had eight mana. Wish I could play Hush twice and Pale Cascade. Strike while the planet's alive. I want to play Hush once. Stan 
stand and fight. You won't feel it first. Look out there. So they want me. So they want to trade Babbling Beard for three damage on Leona. Okay. So if I would, if I'd have the extra mana, I would be able to play Hush again on on this Prowling Cutthroat and block it. wanted them to, you know, maybe play like a, a champion or something for me to take with the Sejuani. Got me. Right, their champions are leveled up. Maybe they don't. Darn. Maybe they don't have any champions. Say our opponent had a slow hand in this game? Which had two one drops, then two monkey idols. And then Babbling Bjorgen to Sejuani, then Gangplank. Like this. Well, not a slow hand. The call before the storm. Try to leave it. So like if I block and block, we go to three. Put that thing down to one. Can't really kill it. Must be talking about a different game of opponent having a slow hand. It, it can't be this game. Unyielding light. They'll be blown in the water. Prepare the barrage. Bilgewater cards are difficult to beat. It's put so much pressure on you. You know, like the... Like that deck, but then also the previous deck with the Twisted Fate Swain. You get so much pressure on these, by these Bilgewater cards. They're so fast and so much Nexus damage. Um, difficult to stay alive. It's kind of the opposite. This is a slow deck, but I don't think I really want to play two. I don't really want to keep two Solari Priestesses. This is pretty interesting. We'll maybe actually play Mentor of the Stones for the first time. Oh, 
would be good. See the Nebastian border from here. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. No. Beating to get through. Punish transgressions. Please, I have connections. That's that's perfectly fine. Not mind that. That's like a four mana, much worse uh, petty officer. Um, let's go with the golden sister that brings along the elusive. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Me. Back, heretic. Sure. Yeah, gotta kill that one too. Gotta keep this hapless aristocrat alive. It's too valuable. This works out well, the shield bearer and the Lunari priestess. Works out well. Devotion to battle. I'm fine with that trade. Um, let's play the messenger. Calm mind and open heart. Greet the night. Messenger's pretty cool. Hey, Vila, GG's. What once was two, now is one. Yep, perfectly fine with me. So we still have a lot of gas over here. And that's just a lot of things dying for they who endure. That's good. All right, let's go shield bearer. Into messenger, into Lunari priestess. Bask in her radiant blessing. <clears throat> That's a good hit. I am more myself than ever. So the thing is, is it may just end up with like neither of us running out of cards ever, and my opponent, um, you know, just eventually just playing a really in soul, which is just huge, and us losing to a really in soul. That's kind of how we would lose. That could be the end result of this game. Like, we're never going to run out of cards. <laughs> that's My that's not happening. Eyes blazing, brightest torches. So, you know, we're never running out of cards. Okay. 
<clears throat> Alright, we're gonna invoke some more, because we I want to find like the high power expensive invokes. That's what I want to find. I don't know. The Scourge isn't that great, though. I mean, I guess the Scourge can kind of... The Scourge can match up against Aurelian Soul, though. Fine with me. Because, yeah, I mean, they have four cards and I have nine. I mean, if you don't want to count the gems as cards, it's still seven. They should not make that attack. They should, they should just pass. Because of the the whole round start, create another celestial. They should just create another celestial with the pass. Okay, attack for 10 with the Robin, but then, you know, they'll just block with the Rekindler. I can't give the Robin Challenger, but we can we can make it 10 power. But then... Then the Aurelian Soul just blocks my Mentor of the Stones. But then we make it 11 power. Okay, okay. So Fury will grow the Aurelian Soul if it blocks the Mentor of the Stones, um, but then of course we'll get all those gems, and we can use one of the gems immediately on the Robin, and so then both the Robin and the Aurelian Soul will have 11 power. I guess the thing only has 10 health, though. Just could have played Solari Soldier. My, how they stare. One candle for every sun. This isn't great.
Yeah, it's gonna be really difficult to fight through three Aurelian Souls. We're just kind of in the middle. Like the other decks are going fa are being faster than us, and then this deck is going bigger than us, and we're just kind of in the middle. We're not faster than other decks. We're not bigger than other decks. Um, you know, we're just not quite working out. We're not. We're just neither. The Bilgewater decks have too much Nexus damage. The Bilgewater and Noxus decks those too much Nexus damage for us, and then you know, really, in Soul is just. The best late game you can have but as you can you know as, as we talked about i was never going to run out of cards and so like that wasn't a problem it was just is a really in soul just way too powerful for us and that's kind of what happened a really in soul was way too powerful unfortunately didn't get to do that much with they who endure our one win was with the they who endures so that was cool um you know we didn't have them that last game when we had so many things die that they would have been awesome that that very last game but did not have them there. All right, so that's that's Leona Endure. Just kind of struggled putting out putting games away. You know, with like your your regular They Who Endure deck has you know Atrocity and it has Never Late Collector, and those kind of give you more reach. And that's what we really struggled with was reach, and then uh, the Nexus healing with like Never Late Collector <clears throat> weren't really fast enough either all right but that's leona endure uh yep no thanks for the donation deck there darth drew all right so those y'all watching later on youtube uh hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well um but thank you so much for watching and i will see you for the next video